cryptographic key management policy. So this policy is going to look at the management and the protection of the cryptographic keys. The purpose of the policy is to ensure the proper lifecycle management of encryption keys that protect confidentiality and integrity of confidential information. Cryptographic key management is based on the OWASP guidelines and the cryptographic keys are classified as confidential. We have policy statements around the generation of keys, we look at the distribution of keys, how they're transported, we look at the storage of the cryptographic keys policy statements around cryptographic key storage. We have policy statements around escrow, potentially, and the backup of our keys. We would never escrow keys used for performing digital signatures, but consider the need to escrow keys that support encryption. We have policy statements around accountability and audit. And we have policy statements around key compromise and key recovery. Significant implications if keys are compromised. We have statements and policy around the compromise recovery plan and what it should contain. We have policy statements around trust stores, cryptographic key management libraries, and with every and as with every policy. We have our statements around policy compliance, looking at how we're going to measure compliance to the policy, how we're going to manage exceptions, how we're going to manage non-conformance and continual improvement. So as with all of the policies, this policy is a statement of what good looks like and should be used and configured for your own specific requirements. But for now, that concludes the cryptographic key management policy. Thank you.